What's going on everybody? Tonenza here. Welcome back to episode 12 of the Resident Evil Village 100% walkthrough. Last episode we pretty much just did some cleanup and got quite a few, quite a few little valuables. And now we're going to continue on with the story and make our way towards Heisenberg. Now before we do, I made a boo-boo and I forgot about this little lock here. So we're going to go ahead and grab that now. Pick up some handy shotgun ammo, which will finally complete this little area. So apologies for that. Now from here, we're going to basically follow these pretty obvious signs. And make our way towards the six wing unborn uh, gate here. Use the key. Now we'll head on through. Now this is where we're supposed to go. It says good luck and head up this way. But first we're going to take a little bit of a detour. And make our way left. To Otto's Mill. Now one thing to grab real quick. Is... Down here to the right is going to be a goat of warding inside of this shrine. It'll be right here. After that, we're going to go take the locks off of this door here. Kill a pig. And just and make our way inside. Cut that off. Where are you at, little piggy piggy? Thank you for the meat. Couple of guys grab here, some shotgun, handgun ammo, mines, and then a little crystal fragment here. Not, do not forget about that. Now we're going to make our way inside. Now for this, I'm going to equip a pipe bomb. We're going to come up against a very big guy, as you can probably hear him now. So we're going to use a pipe bomb to grab his attention, and then the wolfsbane to finish him off. So, chuck this. Let's equip your Wolfsbane. And I'm gonna do six shots. Wait for him to recover so that you can get the stagger each time. And one more should do it. Perfect. So pipe bomb and six shots is pretty good. And we get ourselves a giant crystal axe. Now from here, we'll just kind of go pretty much in a clockwise fashion starting from the door. We got some shotgun shells here as well as some pistol rounds on the right. We got an explosive barrel, sniper rounds, and a couple crates up here. Now the explosive barrel, I mean, you, you don't have to use the wolf's bane. You can save it for later, but I personally just prefer to kill him. Oh, whoops. Well, there's nothing up there anyways. I, I just personally prefer to use it and kill him. A little makes things a little, makes your life a lot easier. And now we'll make our way inside, grab the herb on the right. And oh lordy, look at all the meat and the chicken and the meat and the chicken and the meat and a fish tons of stuff to grab as well as a note some scrap don't forget that metal scrap behind it's very easy to miss and after you finish getting all the meat we'll head out grab the auto's mill chest a few more boxes to pick up And now we're going to leave this area and finally head towards Heisenberg. Now, before we do, there is going to be a couple of these guys. So we're going to take their head off at the sniper. Just because personally, there's only four and I find it way easier this way. If you hit your shots, which for some reason I don't like to. There, makes it nice and easy. 
Still got a ton of bullets left. And we're actually going to use all these bullets. Uh, yeah, we're going to be using a lot of these bullets here coming up. So come up and head up. Through... Oh. Jeez, I just smashed my microphone. Holy... So we're going to hear some enemies. Now we're going to come up here. This is kind of going to be a big opened area where we're going to be fighting them. So we're going to go left. Kind of hug the wall to the left. Come down, grab this herb, and then spin around and go back up here. Now up here is kind of like where I like to be personally. I just find it easier. So get your sniper out. There's gonna be a few that drop down right about here. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to kill the ones that I can see. And use the shotgun for any that get too close. Just kidding, I'm bad at this game. If they get close, take their head off with that. You can use your pistol too if you want, but this just gets it done a little bit quicker, and you're not short on ammo by any means. Now, there's only going to be a few f at first. So don't worry too much about them. Now we're going to come up and grab this some scrap out of this overturned wagon. And then we're going to move on to here. So take this guy's head off. Going to have two more jump down of us at you, as well as two guys shooting arrows. So, he jumps down. Kill him. Oh. You know what? I'm not wasting any more bullets on you. Shoot this to get your sniper rifle ammo. Now, here we have two of the arrow guys. Now, if you want, if you don't have the achievement yet, you can use this to hit the arrow out of the air. There, like that. And you actually get an achievement for that. So, but personally, I just... Oh. You gotta be careful that if you shoot them, you'll actually break the arrow like I just did. So be careful of that so you're not wasting bullets. Okay, now. Things are gonna get a bit hectic. gonna be uh, quite a bit going on here in this... Pretty much this next little bit of an area. So we're going to head inside, what we're going to do is we're going to head inside here. I call it inside, but you know what I mean. There's going to be two barrels we're going to break. And then we're going to go up path here. And we're going to keep following the path all the way up and around. There's going to be a few lichens that spawn. Just take them out as you get to them. And then the whole area will go silent. And we'll talk then talk more I guess we'll talk more about what we're doing then ah well I personally don't need this meat or this poultry I think I'm short on fish but we'll still take this free up some space okay now start making your way up. I used my shotgun here for a little bit as well as the pistol. But you'll see they'll start coming here just any moment. I think right around now. Yeah. As you can see, there's going to be some arrow shooters. And then there's going to be a couple that are behind. I was a little bit short. A little bit too uh, too late on that, but you can use that explosive barrel to take those two out. Oh my. Get away from me. More, infinitely more powerful than you now. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I didn't want to have to heal. Oh well. Okay, grab you up your rewards, and like I, and as I said earlier, they are now all gone. Now the fun part. So we're actually going to be placing quite a bit of explosives here. Going to put one here. 
Gonna put one over here. Gonna put one in the center. Grab the shotgun ammo on the left side. And then we're gonna do two heading up the stairs. Now, they won't go off if you step over them, so don't worry about that. How do I get this door open? But basically, once you... We're going to climb this ladder and pop a lever. Once you do that, uh, quite a big swarm is going to come at you. And you're going to... Basically, we just set a bunch of traps for that. So it is a limited amount of lichens. So once they're all dead, they're all dead. And then we can safely move on. So... So real quick, pull this lever, drop down, drop down, keep your shotgun handy in case any pop up in front of you, and then pull the second lever. Now I'm going to switch out to my pistol here and try to snag any, some of them with this. So some will come up here. Ooh. And some will some will make it up here and some are gonna stay far away. So those far away ones will just uh snipe them as usual. Just don't don't focus too much on the ones that you're sniping. Because it is very easy to get caught behind with one of them coming up from behind. But mo for the most part they'll come up right beside you here. And that, that should be it. Okay, now that everyone is dead, just kind of walk around and clean up. Take all, reap all your little rewards. All these crystal skulls, stuff we'll be selling later. And anything else from the ones you killed. I think I thought there was something up here. But maybe not. Okay, well, that's everything after I picked up that bag. So now, make sure we're all reloaded. Make our way into the stronghold. Now this stronghold is gonna get quite, it's gonna seem hectic, but it's actually quite, quite good, quite easy to deal with once you kind of get the hang of it. So first we'll just grab our scrap couple barrels here for some items and a pipe bomb a couple pipe bombs actually now save as always don't want to uh, don't want to lose any of that good progress now what I like to do for this place is I will head out there with my shotgun and I'll lure them all kind of like to this little area here Right in front of the stairs. Should get a good group of about four, four or five. That's going to be the initial wave. And then use the pipe bombs to... Between pipe bombs and shotguns, you're going to kill them all. Then basically just ignore the rest. Run up, across. And we're going to take a zip line down. Come up and around. And we'll talk more up that way about what to do there. This must so, be their den. come up here. This should be about right here. Should be about as far as you need to go. So, turn around. There's, there he is. So, one's gonna pop, stop here. There. Now, as, as you can see, there's quite a bit of them there now. Chuck our pipe bombs. Chuck our poke. Oh. See, as you can see, we took out a good chunk of them and really hurt the others. Would you get away from me? There. Now with them out of the way, we have a pretty much straight and safe path. I personally wouldn't worry about any that don't, unless they pop up directly in your face. So come up, grab the, don't forget the explosive round. Grab on here. And away you go.
Now, we're gonna run forward across here and deal with the few enemies that we have here. I think there's gonna be two or three that come after us right now. Yeah. So, kill these guys. Don't forget to watch behind you. Shotgun should be more than enough to deal with them. And then I like to use a sniper for this. For this guy here. Oh. I'm gonna pistol you. <laughs> Heal up as necessary. Collect your rewards. Now, before we get any further than this, after we kind of clear out that little wave, don't take too long to pause, but make sure you get out your explosive M79. Okay, and boom. Hit him once. Hit him twice. Hit him three times. And then a few pistol rounds to the head. Should pretty much finish him off. Now all we have left to do is to kill these guys. Oh, this is a bit kind of annoying. Get away from me. Now we got our perfect crystal skull. Got all of our bounties. And that's pretty much... Just double check that you got everything. But that's pretty much everything. Oh, I did forget one thing. I remember exa I know exactly what I missed. Sorry, it's a bit easy to get caught up in the moment. What I did miss was a Vivianite. So that means we're going to have to fight a few more of these beauties, which personally, it doesn't bother me. All that means is that I just get more treasure. Come get me, you idiot. Not actually. Come on. And that should be them. Good. Alright. Now, what I did forget when you just get up here, right there. That's the Vive and I did forget to mention. So if you're saving, save up, and it's right there. Now save if you want, I'm not going to bother because right, right past these doors is going to be another save point anyways because we are about to hit a boss fight. Now let's get down here. I don't think there's anything down here. Oh, sorry, there is a few items here. A couple enemies to grab, and it's mostly just stuff that was dropped from the enemies you killed. So it's good just to do a little quick sweep of the area. There's nothing, like, definite here. Except for the pipe bomb and the first aid kit right here. So beyond that, it's pretty much just whatever is discovered from killing enemies is sometimes they fall down and you can get some extra stuff from there but just keep walking around when you do kill them all make your rounds check to see if the map is blue if it is you're done if it's not you got a little something else that you need to grab okay so now we're going to make our way up and inside the stronghold even further Make sure we're completely reloaded. I got a mine or some gunpowder and some magnum ammo, which is gonna come in very much come in handy here shortly. Scrap on the way down. Now at the bottom of these stairs here, when you get to the bottom right about here. Right by these pails where I'm pointing now is going to be another goat of warding. Do not forget to grab them. Or grab it because I don't think you can come back here. 
I have not checked this far. So now we'll make our way through a cool little cut. I'm not going to call it a cutscene, but just a little insight as to their den and kind of like what's going on there with them. So they look like they're having a great time. So we're going to completely ignore them. Come through here, grab our first aid kit. Our parchment. Sniper rifle ammo rounds and explosive rounds. And a save point. Now, I know what you're thinking. We got a, we got a save point and a lot of ammo. And you're 100% right. We are going to be taking on a boss. So, I'm going to equip the M79 on the top. The pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. I'm going to make it three more. Actually make it five. Nice and even five. I'm going to equip the pipe bomb on the number one slot and I'm going to just straight up use the magnum right now. So we've got quite a heavy hitter coming up. Now you can basically take him down however you like but I prefer to just use the magnum right away and then finish off with a combination of explosives and sniper rifle rounds and the occasional shotgun. Now when he does drop down, he can summon some more lichens. I like to save the pipe bombs for then. So what I'll do is I'll, he'll summon lichens, they'll drop down beside him. I'll throw two pipe bombs and then that'll kill off, for sure kill off the lichens and damage him quite greatly. And then he'll just kind of wander around and chase after you. Use these pillars to your advantage. And be sure to hit him with some sort of explosive if he looks like he's going to put his axe away. Because he'll end up actually grabbing this pillar and he'll just throw it at you. So definitely be careful of that. But outside of that, just loop, shoot, and survive. I'll show you how it's done right now. Starting with the Urias, the big guy. Not good. As soon as he drops down here, you can start hitting him. Make sure you're hitting his head. There. Now we're going to reload. Now there's a few items here to grab along the left side. Don't worry about it too much. Just worry mostly about killing him. Hit him. Oof. Now, he will hurt a lot if you do not guard. And as you can see, he can rush you. So, just be careful of that. So, that will stun him a little. I do like to just kind of use that to get some more spacing. Now, that is that right there, you gotta watch out for his jumping attack. As long as you're using the pillars effectively, he won't actually be able to hit you fully. Now I'm gonna use a sniper, take a couple shots at him. Use the pillars to kind of kite him away. It looks like he's about to jump. Yeah. So if he does jump, like I said, just kind of stay away, kind of use the pillar to block. Now that's a little freak out that he does. He's hurting pretty bad. So we're actually gonna just keep shooting him. As long as he stays still and as long as you can stun him. He didn't even get a chance to summon a lichen. And now we got the crystal hammer. So that's, uh, that's Urias. That's the guy that gave us so much trouble at first that we uh, just stomped basically this last little bit. So make sure to come around to the ledges here and grab all the little odds and ends. That way you can make sure you're not missing anything, especially this boss, which some, every time I fought in him, that boss has survived. I don't know how, but it does. 
All right. Now we can put our knife back to where it was and put our pistol back to where it was. Make sure everything's reloaded. Now in here is a very nice little crystal cave. We got one shot here, one here, 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 and there's a big one here that we can't really shoot. That's going to give us four crystals, a yellow quartz, a vivanite, and a large crystal. Okay, nice little reward. Now we'll make our way down the stairs. When you do, take an le immediate left to, for two boxes. And finally, get our torso flask. You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Okay, now we know what to do. Take all of our daughter's flasks to the altar. Now when you get down here, there's a boat to the right. Spin around and grab ourselves a very fancy plate. Perfect for eating nachos. Jump in our boat. And it's pretty straightforward, the boat here. I think this is just more for flair. Like, hey, look at us, we we can operate boats in this game. Because you basically just go straight down to this little dock here, and that's it. Okay, now, there's a ladder to climb here. We're going to ignore that for now. And we're going to head down into this dungeon. Go left for a crate, cross over for a chem fluid, and a photo of a phantom fish, which we already did, did already kill. That would be our finest fish. And now here we got some notes, which basically right here shows you Alci Alcina D. That is Lady Dumitresque. This is kind of what happened to her. And this was her being part of the subject. Grab up your pipe bombs and your ammo. And now we got a couple more baddies coming up. Which I'm going to use my pistol for. Because as you can see we have 133 rounds in reserve. So we're definitely not shy. Now you're supposed to get between 3 and 4. I personally have only fought 3. But I have heard reports of there being a fourth one. So keep that in mind. If there is a fourth one, it shouldn't be much of an issue. These guys are pretty much a joke. I'll, I always pull out my shotgun just in case. But there. Those are the three. Keep in mind there has been... I have seen people say that they've encountered four, but that's uh, that won't be much of an issue. So climb the ladder, unlock the gate, and we've gone full circle back to the church. Now, here's the here's the thing. On the left side here, there is a Valrock Alpha that we can kill. He gives us a large torso, crystallized torso we can grab, but that's it. He, I'm personally not gonna bother with him. You can hear him there. You get an achievement for killing him, and of course you can sell his torso. 
right now I'm personally not going to bother because I don't want to be too low on ammo going into Heisenberg's factory because we're going to use quite a bit of it. And the, ones that, the only thing that really does significant damage are your explosives and your wolfsbane. We already used up the wolfsbane and I really am not a big fan of fighting him right away because it just uses up all of the little bit of explosives that we do still currently have. So, fight him if you like. Fight him if you don't. And don't, or if you don't, it's, it's fine. Greatest pleasure to see you return alive. So, Welcome, let's talk to the Duke. Nothing new to buy. Nothing new to upgrade. Pay me no money. Nothing new to cook. I'm still down a fish. I don't know where that went. But we got five crystal fragments to sell. A large crystal. Two vivanite, yellow quartz, eight crystal skulls. One perfect crystal. Crystal hammer from Urias. Giant crystal axe from the big guy in the shed. Father Nicholas angel statue. Our little taco platter. Sell them for 162,000 lei. This is something to splurge on. Now, we're at a t we're at a point in the game now where I am personally going to be selling the Lemmy and the M M1897 shotgun and pistol because we it frees up a lot of space. So now, like now, look at all the space we have. Do let me know so if you find anything else of value. I'm actually going to cut ahead real quick to start uh, organizing. I'm going to reorganize this because it's really bugging me. There, doesn't that look... There, doesn't this look much prettier? It's going to be a complete mess in five minutes, I know, but... Just can't help myself. So now we're walking away with a whopping 380,920 lei. This is a ton of money. Buy you whatever you want, but personally, my recommendation right now save it you're gonna really wish you did here coming up in this next area so if you do have extra extra lay similar to what i have and you're not hurting on ammo save it and i trust trust me you'll be very glad you did so that's pretty much going to end the episode here we'll start off the next episode with placing the flasks and moving on to heisenberg's factory so thanks again for everyone who stopped by. If you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And also don't forget to hit that little bell icon next to the subscription button. That way you can be, stay up to date to my for when I do upload, which is pretty much daily. And if you want to see some additional content, I am just about to release the first episode of the Convergence mod playthrough. The Cinders mod playthrough is now 100% done. Go check that out. It was a very bumpy... I should say uh, quite a bumpy ride for my first playthrough of a on YouTube here but boy was it spectacular and the finale alone was quite something to watch but if it's the next episode of this you're looking for that'll be up in two days so thanks again for everyone who did stop by catch you in the next one take care